Hello, it's Thursday the 3rd. I'm FX Pluer. This is CurrencyTransfer.com's market update. The headlines today are that Sterling falls as no deal becomes the Brexit base case. Eurozone is facing an economic slowdown and the dollar rebounds on risk appetite. So overnight, Sterling fell to a low not seen since April 2017. And whilst it did recover back to 125.45, its direction remains linked to concerns that the UK is now heading towards a no deal Brexit. While Parliament's been on its Christmas recess, the market's had time to reflect on what a no deal will actually mean, reviewing the real risks compared to the political scale. The verdict seems to be nothing if not a leap into the unknown, but the concern is that the government appears to be out of their depth to the potential issues and that is driving the currency lower. On the calendar yesterday we had PMI data that was well above the market expectation, but Brexit is the real and only driver right now for sterling. Conversely, Eurozone PMI confirmed contraction in key member states and overall Eurozone activity is just about staying in positive territory uh, at a reading of 51.4. Remember when Draghi first announced the withdrawal of QE though, he said he would reintroduce it if the circumstances demanded. So that may well be something that the ECB look at in response to the falling economic activity. Meanwhile though, with the Euro facing uncertainty, Euro dollar fell to 113.25 as the dollar posted gains yesterday. And the dollar index was helped higher. It was helped to 96.95 yesterday by safe haven buying, despite the domestic concerns over tightening monetary policy and the slowing economy in the US. Following PMI data yesterday, we've got ISM data today. It's essentially the slightly different take on the same data, but it's the reading that the market prefers. The December reading is expected to show about 97, uh, sorry, 57.9, which is healthy enough, but it is down from the November reading of 59.3. So that is reflecting continued concerns of a slowdown in US manufacturing. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Any questions, please pop them in the comments below.